Greetings one and all for yet another My Artsy Musings session and uh, this for this series we're uh, doing well guess yet another seascape <laughs> surprise surprise um, yeah another piece from my excursions in Cape Town and uh, not far from the vantage point where the previous session was 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 done um, in fact a few kilometers further round by uh, Nuadhuk in fact the 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 northern end of uh, Long Beach in Nuadhuk um, right up where it joins up with the, with the rocks and the cliffs and what have you um, yeah so Nuadhuk is this very lengthy stretch of wide stretch of beach called Long Beach for obvious reasons and um, and uh, where it joins up to the cliff is where we positioned in the in, on this particular day um, when I was grabbing my reference imagery there was a there was a very heavy set of uh, surf coming through um, pounding in and crashing up against the rocks and uh, yeah very very powerful stuff so I'm going to look at this little um, this little section of of uh, of the view, and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, let's have a go. So uh, I think what I need to do need to go is just set a very. I meant to do it beforehand. I should have done it beforehand, but didn't, and now I shall. Um, just to set a a basic horizon line uh, over here. I think uh, basic horizon line over there. Let's just do that. Quite faintly, because it's it's very um, very indistinct. So uh, and then I want to just set this line here as well just also very indistinct you can hardly see it right that'll do just for now and that's not a horizon line that's just the the base of the wave right let's let's tackle let's tackle peoples um, <clears throat> there and from there just get these basic lines in place it's almost like a it's this angular scenario taking place with the rocks in the foreground looking over this very short bay because this um, this coastline here is a, is a series of of inlets um, and coves and what have you um, and, uh, and and in fact this the start of and you'll see it become a little little bit more more distinct not very much but the start the, the, the uh, uh, Chapman's Peak Drive starts on the Nordhook side over here or ends on the Nordhook side over here so it starts to to head up the, the side of the, uh, the, the, the the cliffs and the in the mountain um, Chapman's Peak itself and starts to wind its way up and then disappears around that bend and then there's more bends and more bends and more bends um hence the ad um of the was it the 90s um of uh this uh, bmw's bmw beats the bends <laughs> i'll talk about that just now <laughs> interesting i suddenly re remembered that ad it was brilliant it was a brilliant campaign anyway um i digress um so what i this is the this is the scenario here so we've got this big uh hill cliff whatever um chapman speak over this side and then we've got this right in, in the for, right in the foreground at our feet basically is this is this rocky outcrop um and then this this little inlet um that is just fraught with 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 tidal uh, surf action um 
in fact on this particular occasion there were some uh, a couple of surfers who were who had come through and walked along they'd obviously been surfing further down Northhook and either they'd come to contemplate jumping in and, and having a surf um, down here at this end which would be to my mind treacherous but then again um, surfers are surface and they will surfers will be surfers um, and uh, they might have been contemplating going in but I, I don't think anyone would have risked it it was just huge rollers coming through um, pounding and I'm, I mean you get caught up in that and you get simply trashed against the rocks so probably not a great idea had they taken it anyway um, yet again I digress so let's take that let's take that angle and just bring it in over here as well and then just something like that just a just really forming the basis of our composition, the shapes, um, the angles and shapes of this of this piece, which just draw the eye, bring interest, um, keep the eye involved and engaged, um, and and basically outline the story of this piece. Everything I, I'm, I'm always going on about the story and the, the language and what have you, and, and it's exactly what it is. It's just it's just like how a, a, a piece of prose or poetry is, is constructed. There is a certain methodology behind its, its, its cadence, etc. Um, and uh, emphasis on certain words and certain phrases and, and, and what have you, as much as, as, as a song. Um, so, Basically, I'm, 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 I'm establishing the riff of the, of the jazz, of the jazz composition right now. So, uh, yeah, that is what I'm doing. So we've got some white water over here. We've got some, some of the water breaking through and streaming off these rocks and having waves coming having crashed past here and then this slight bay of white water and then this monster wave that's just curling in um, that'll be our kind of focal point um, so yeah let me start to depict let me start to depict that Just very lightly. This 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 artwork will also entail will entail not only charcoal and pastel but also but also some acrylic, just like I did last time, but a lot more. Um, and uh, let's just get this sorted out for now. Yeah. Um, but just the shape, the basic shape and form of this wave. And and then build on its power and urgency and force. Um and there's a lot of, there's a lot of, um, there's obviously a, what's it, an offshore breeze, uh, wind that's, that's coming down from the mountain, I suppose, and then curling up and then taking the top off these waves so that as they come through, they just leave these long feathers of, of, of mist and, and spray high up into the sky. Um, so yeah. That's the 
That's the basis of this piece. It's the magnitude of this powerful. And, and I'm going to keep color to a minimum. Minimum and a minimum with cinnamon in. Um, I'm going to keep color to a minimum with this minimum, um, with, <laughs> with this piece. Um, because I want to. Um, because I want to focus on this wave. I want to focus on that 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 spectrum of green and blue. That that that, and I, and then obviously a, a little bit paler in the foreground. Some 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 li pale lilac and what have you, and then a, and then finally a little extra, a little extra touch of something. So uh, you will you will see that as it as we as we go. basic form of this wave I'm doing I'm working very lightly with uh, with my um, Conte crayon at the moment my white Conte just to just to establish some some of the story and then the, the obviously the uh, the white acrylic, which will come right towards the end, will uh, will simply comprise the uh, extreme highlights. So now I know where I'm working, what I'm working with, etc. And uh, let's just bring that, I think, let me bring that horizon line up a little bit, shall we? Shall we? Yes. Just, I can just remove it with my finger linger. Let's just depict that once again, just a bit higher up. do it's, it's uh, just a rough very rough guideline now I, I want to because this hillside cliff face whatever the case is um, cliffy at times but mostly a very steep rocky part of the mountain um, it's all mountainous this this whole region and uh, forget what this part of the mountain is, but uh, anyway, it's the kind of tail end, back end of where Table Mountain, uh, uh, part of the range that comprises Table Mountain as well. It includes Table Mountain. Um, and uh, so this is in the distance, uh, perhaps three, four, five hundred meters away. Um, it is very much receded. It's uh, very much in the background. So I want to establish that because it's the first kind of layer. I just want to get that going because a lot will take place over it. There's a lot of spray and whatever that goes over it. So I want to just establish that first, just to get that out of the way, and then we can move forward from there. The sound that you can hear is, if you can hear it, 
Not that sound. That sounds like something else. I don't know what that is. The neighbours. But there's a there's a hum and that is the fan going. During the last session I had it here with me in the room to cool the uh, my camera down. Hopefully it still works this, again this time, but I've, I've got it outside, the fan outside pointing inwards and hopefully and I've opened windows so you might get a bit of other external noises coming through but anyway that's what happens when you when you're um, when there's no when there's no filters there's no um, edits on these videos I never I, I I never ever edit my videos once complete I simply upload them as is so start to finish you're getting the raw the raw footage <laughs> and it comes with it comes with sometimes interesting um, little occurrences just like just like uh, the last the previous session ended off with <laughs> ended off with Wendy giving her knickers in a knot and calling for someone to to come and get hold of me thinking that I was dead and or uh, or maimed or paralyzed or something twitching on the floor but I wasn't I was simply I'd simply forgotten to tell her that and I had switched turned off my phone so that I don't get any interruptions as I have done today but today I told it so <laughs> she knows so hopefully there won't be any panic stations Yeah, so it could be anything. It could be one of the cats coming in and making a, creating a disturbance behind the camera, or any old thing. I, it, but it, it adds character, I think, to the whole. To the whole proceedings, and um, yeah, so just working on getting this going. Um, A fairly straightforward piece otherwise it's a it's a it's just a nice little kind of nook nook like seascape not very not expensive and that's why I've got this um, this vertical <clears throat> this vertical um, orientation portrait fashion um, because it's just a it's just one little aspect of this view um, in fact it's pretty much closed off either side because I've got I've got rocks on this side I've got more rocks on that side higher up um, so we're just looking through a little a little uh, a little gap just making it a little bit interesting with the uh, with the composition in composition As always, I've I've done a, a reference sketch. Uh, which I have which I have right over there, just out of camera. And uh, I can just refer to that. I, I really needed it for just color, color, shape, composition, etc. Just to get that, yeah. So to get that right, um, I'll do. I'll use yet further license, creative license as I go, artistic license if you want to call it that, um, as I go. So uh, yeah. There's no hard and fast rules as to as to what this piece must look must look like, um, as you know, as you well know by now. I, I I don't like to to have in my mind's eye an absolute end result. It could be 
it could change dramatically. Uh, you know, I've I've kind of used the colours and some of the form and what have you of this of this piece in my small artwork, which is a little bit larger than A5. Um, so because of the larger scale now, um, I, I, more things can come into fray, and uh, more observations and little nuances and details and what have you. So, uh, yeah, I like to keep it open-ended and let the artwork create itself. I'm always going on about the importance of that. So, so very important. Um, so whatever happens, happens here. Just to kind of depict some of the large boulders and rocks, much like the previous piece. Um, on this mountainside, not depicting the road or where the road is. You can't even see the road actually from 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 down here. Um, it heads off up, I think, a little bit higher up. In fact, I think it, yeah, it's it's much higher up by the time it gets around there because there's another little headland over here which these which this big wave is crashing into. Um, all you can hear is the odd Harley Davidson or Lamborghini that goes past. Um, that's the only real sound that that creates a, an interference. Otherwise, it's just this surf pounding away relentlessly. Big surf this day. In fact, um, we had just was it this day? Yes, we had just been to uh, to Musenberg, which is on the other side, whichever side it is, um, and um, and there was very little surf, <laughs> very little wind, very little surf. Yeah, we had a a very stiff breeze, strong breeze actually, um, and this monstrous surf. So uh, more exposure to the to the Atlantic, I guess, over here. Um, in fact, I think it's not, is Musenberg not on the, on the uh, Indian Ocean side? <laughs> I get so mixed up. I, I, no, it's, no, yes, it might be. <laughs> if I had to draw you a map of where things are right now, I would, I would, I would battle. So uh, anyway. Safe to say that the weather conditions were very were quite different on that side, although sunny, etc. The uh, the wave action was very different. And and, and, and freaking cold down here, in the water that is, very cold. And of course, when when the when you get a when you get an onshore uh, breeze. Then, then the you can feel the chill off the way off the ocean. In fact, you can anyway. But, but uh, my word, and the water's quite nippy, very nippy, in fact. And uh, yeah, very different to the other side. The Atlant the uh, this is the, this being the Atlantic side, Atlantic seaboard, and uh, very different to the. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. This might even be the Indian Ocean side as well, but it's it's definitely closer to where the Atlantic is. But uh, Hout Bay is around the corner, around that side. That I do know, because Chapman Speak Drive runs all the way from Nordhook right around and and uh, and culminates in Hout Bay. And with Chapman Speak dividing the two.
so I'm just I'm just indicating a little bit of detail here not not too much because and then I'll, and I will soften it as well when I as I go but just a wee bit of detail um, I think we'll keep this session to 45 minutes and we'll see how f far we go I, I, I plan on kind of plan on four sessions so we'll keep that keep the first perhaps the first three to uh, 45 minute sessions each and then and then we'll see with the last one whether we need to extend it to an hour yeah let's see so far so good Okay, now let's work down here. Um, in the photographic image, these these rocks down here are very very dark, black almost, and and, and I felt that they just uh, over almost overpowered the whole the whole scene, um, the composition and the artwork as a whole. Um, the the focus is on the, is on this wave um not on this these rocks and and in any case they were quite indistinct and they're just rocks um whereas all the action is over there these are static and uh so i'm i'm i've decided to keep these these rocks quite light almost so uh little bit of detail much like the top there but a little and maybe a little bit more detail and this I'm going to knock back a little bit soften as well but in, in due course with my eraser tip um, and these ones I will I will do some fair a fair detail but much softer so that they don't overpower the piece because they do form sort of you know almost well, well basically a quarter of this piece if you divide it into segments like that but or perhaps even a little over a quarter so i don't want it to be too prominent so that we've got this big dark bottom quadrant over here um i'll have this this little water coming trickling through here and perhaps coming trickling off these rocks etc a little bit of sheen um, just to soften that brutal darkness of these of the rocks in the in the picture in the photograph so as you know I take loads and loads of photographs and manipulate them afterwards and crop in uh, crop in to get suggested view views etc um, perspectives um, but then I like to do a a, um, a, a, a reference sketch um, and there I start to work with the kind of balance of color and, and light and shade etc. Um, it might work as a, as a photograph but doesn't work as an artwork. Um, I've come to find that is, is very important to acknowledge. Um, as an artist sometimes we try to copy too closely the, the photographic a photograph be it a be it a landscape or a portrait or a still life or whatever it is that you're working on and uh, but the two are very different the two are very different in their makeup because we as as an as an artwork we, we, our, our focus changes, our focal points change, etc. The balance of, of color and, and all of that we, we have we have to work with. That's that's why we do them. Otherwise, you know, we stick to photography, um, which is an art form all of its own. Um, but you cannot simply recreate a photograph. Well, hyper realism, yes, to a degree, but even then. Um, Hyperrealism is is using a great deal more license in terms of 
in terms of really overexposing certain things, really punching up on detail and and what have you. Um, so it's yet again, um, you cannot copy a photograph. And what's the point? A photograph is an artwork all of its own, stands alone. Um, I really enjoy sometimes though, to, when I see um, artworks that that capture that seem to capture the essence of that you know sort of happy snaps blown out um, exposure um, or overexposed and 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 really almost haphazard just a, a snap taking a picture of something but but then working with using a composition um, to bring about that the the interest factor and and what have you but but still maintaining that very sort of indistinct haziness that, that comes with like almost those old sort of 70s photographs that took which the colors washed out or there's too much there's too much light there's too much it's taken the photographs taken at sort of midday and you know where there's direct overhead light and and all of those sort of things and then, and then just taking those and, and and working with the overexposed or underexposed or whatever you want to call it and and making a, a statement with those and i love that uh, uh, in fact i, I definitely want I'm, I'm working with that in fact to a to a degree here to a degree i say now what was the story i was going to tell you earlier on damn it i can't think and you can't tell me uh, you can't remind me. Um, I'll think about it. <laughs> mm. Mm, slipped my mind now. It'll come to me. detail down this down this end um, let's just bring that up a little bit up to there so I can work at the bottom come on let's go where's my where's that fat one where's that fat one have I used it up already Bugger. why do these things just vanish Oh, there you are, looking like a masquerading as a as a pastel because it's covered in blue. All right, nice big piece of charcoal here. Um, Once again, this is very rudimentary work that I'm doing here, so it will become more detailed as we go, softer perhaps, and I'll work with the, with the balance of light and shade. As we go. Darn it, I'll have to, I'll have to, I'll have to watch this video again in, in where I mentioned what I was going to talk about.
can't for the life of me remember now that I really want to remember I cannot so these rocks are generally a fairly light sort of sandy color but they are given the angle of light and and also the the the, the water that's saturated then they're quite dark that's why in the photograph they are very dark and uh, but i don't want i don't want to i don't want to make them too dark so i'll offset offset that with with highlights of water coming through etc so just to break it up in terms of uh, not not being one big block of darkness and yet still maintaining the integrity of the of the form of the rocks also adds to perspective um, and that's why I wanted I didn't want to do just the wave because it, it doesn't give you quite the same idea of 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 its of its size and its power and what have you um its momentum um and this kind of somehow it does because it's just kind of sandwiched between these two land forms um and it's just boof, rolling through um so i'm quite excited to to see how this piece depicts itself or unfolds rather Once again, I'll use my razor to uh, to work up the some of the detail and so on on this smooth some aspects out, blend a little, but yet I want to keep this almost void of color there's this in there is where the color is and, and i want to keep the integrity of that because that's our that's what this piece is all about this this massive wave that's just ripping up and out of the the surface of the water um in in blues and jades and lilacs and deep green bottle green etc uh, 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 yeah a wonderful expression really really is and then this wispiness of the top with this kind of oh, i won't call it a, a a rainbow but but with blues and whatever you in, in even in the mist so yeah all ref, ref, reflection reflected light etc so um yeah it's going to be quite an interesting an interesting piece this in that in that sense, perhaps one of the more powerful and punchy pieces that I've done, or, uh, seascapes that I've done. I don't know. You'll see. Done some pretty punchy ones. Well, that one up there um, is perhaps one of the most one of the most punchy ones. It just gives that vastness of this wave kind of towering over you, but it's different because it's just just the wave. You know, this is including the surrounding. A little bit of the surrounding uh, landscape just to give you an idea and also a reference point uh, as to where it is that could be anywhere on the planet this is oh well, it's got that it's definitely got that that uh, cape mountainous sea feel to it then again because of the because I've um, I've honed in on the view uh, on, on the on the uh, aperture or not 
on the perspective of this piece. Um, it also could be anywhere, I guess. But then there's certain little little nuances that would be perhaps telling. I don't know. Perhaps only to somebody who's actually stood here in this in this spot and knows knows where they are. <laughs> Gail, it reminds me of uh, that that one New Year's that I spent with 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 you guys at at Nordhoff Beach. Um, we 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 went to the the Red Herring for, for for our New Year's celebrations, and then and then headed down to the beach to see the sun come up. <laughs> right, yeah, that was this that was this spot actually. So yes, for someone who really ha has an intimate knowledge of this particular part of the world, or this particular part of Cape Town, um, would recognize it perhaps, hopefully, instantly. <laughs> that's what that that's that's what I like to achieve with my work or well, my hope that I can achieve I am achieving with my work is that it's got this anywhere approach to it in terms of the uh, composition and the, the viewpoint etc but also there's this little subtle recognizable quality to it that is almost immediately prevalent and that that's kind of what I like to work with or to, or to, to, to work towards achieving yeah so Kim and Laura and Moni and Nia would also recognize the spot. I think the one time we went, we all went down to Nordhoek together for one Christmas or New Year's time. And uh, this, we also parked off on the beach, just in these, these rocks just behind here. Um, looking the other way towards Nordhoek though, to, towards Long Beach. Yeah. So, many of you who are watching might be familiar with this particular spot. And as I go, you might pick up on the reference, specific reference, a little more. Alrighty, I think um, I'm nearly done with today's session. Well, I am done with today's session. I think I'll, I'll continue further in due course. But that's enough. I've got my composition, the basis of my composition in play. And uh, now it's a case of just having fun. And well, I am having fun anyway, but lots of doodling and Working up on the on the uh, the hues, Huey Lewis and the news, um, hues of colour, hues of blues, greens, lilacs, jade, peppermint. Ha! It's going to be such fun. Um, so it's quite a little kaleidoscope this of of that particular uh, colourway. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining, and and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the session so far. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, and if you like what you see, if you, enjoy, if you have enjoyed what you see, then please do subscribe and hit the like button and uh, the bell icon <laughs> down below for, to receive notifications of any future uploads. So uh, yeah, fantastic. And please do comment if you, if you feel um, inclined to, ask any questions that you like, make any comments that you like. I, I always welcome that. In fact, it helps to, to build a little momentum for me as well. So, do so. Um, 
And uh, yeah, so anyway, I bid you oodles and oodles of toodles and catch you again next time. So have a fantastic day further. Be good, be kind, be gentle, be caring, be loving, etc., etc. So yeah, take care, folks, and see you again next time. Take it easy. Bye. And don't forget to doodle.